So the video cut out. You already know what it is. We didn't cut it out. It cut out on its own. Right? That's um, CSI. CSI? CIA? <laughs> CIA. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, um, CIA. Watch it too much TV. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the video cut out, we didn't do it. <laughs> it wasn't our fault, the video just cut out on its own magically. So what were we talking about? Ooh, I just forgot, because once the video cut out, I lost track. But thank y'all for watching, because there was questions. Please re-ask your questions. Oh, well, we went over the whole... Oh, the people said they're proud of you. For what? What are you guys proud of me for? For standing up. Tell mother we are proud of her. Salam. Hey, bow to the people. Yes. I'm always going to stand up, and I'm always going to stand my square. I don't care who the hell it is. As you guys all know, you heard Momenta say it. Obviously, I'm a fighter, so. Fire signs. Fire signs. Fire signs are crazy. Yes. Yes, we are. You know what, though? It's been a while. No, you know, I shouldn't say crazy. Crazy means broken a week. I don't mean that. Yes. I mean, we are powerful. Yes, that's really what I are. should have said. We're weird. We are weird. We definitely are. Please tell her good work. Well, she can read it, so I'll just let you. Oh, read. keep it. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. I will. I will keep. I'll keep it going. Also, again, please ask your or make your statements again because the video cut out and it wasn't our fault. Uh, I know someone had questions. Oh, she's a Sagittarius too. Whoop, whoop. I'm an Aries, so clearly we're better. What? <laughs> Who's ruling what? Oh yeah, they uh, they were talking about. No, she was studying. She was studying law for a while, but then she met. She only met me. Whoa! No, I didn't. Don't go. What? Talib, you better not start spreading lies to the people. No, you said you've been studying this on your own. I told you and that then... I've been looking into stuff for like See? five or six years. See, but I haven't practiced law. The only All right. practicing was with you, and that was but, like two months. But. If you, look, if you look up the definition of practicing law, practicing law is studying law. Okay, yes, exactly. Well, and, and, and I stated it was for two months. We stated and, it in the video. Uh, but hold on. And you were helping that other person with her stuff, cre creating writs and stuff like that. Oh. That's practicing law. Oh, did that person ever reach out to mm -hmm. you? Did you meet with them? Yeah. All right. But anyway, so you've been studying on your own for years, but then you you reach, you only found more science, you know, rest of history. Yes. Just recently. So to clear that up. But yes, when I when we got the case dismissed, it was only two months. Yeah, yeah. When 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 I got the case dismissed, so that person is correct on stating that. Yeah. That I've been studying for two. Yes. So that that's correct. So now it's been like seven eight months. Would I like to law. do speaking engagement in Charlotte? That'll be great for you. That'll be great. If you can fly me out there, that'd be dope. <laughs> Aries can't stand to be wrong. Hold on. Oh, uh, he can't. Always have to be right. All right. I know you watch my YouTube, and I know you see me admit <laughs> when I'm wrong, so don't even be bringing up lies. Oh, what else we got? Yeah, yep. See, you practiced law when you had your baby. Okay. Thank see? you. Once you proclaimed your nationality, did you stop using your SSN and started using the EIN given? All right. So. That was to you? All right. Yeah. Well, anyone else? But the SSN is the EIN. So you have to understand that these people keep us in commerce. If you read the book of Revelations, when it's talking about the, um, the great red dragon devouring the child as soon as it is born, that's the birth certificate and the social security number. And then a few pages after when it talks about uh, no one will be able to buy and sell unless he uses the name and the number of the beast. That's the social and security, and so, that's the social and the name associated with that. So, when you nationalize, you are clear on the concept that you are not that name, right? You are also clear on the concept that your land is being occupied by foreign Europeans, right? Then you are also even more clear that you don't want to use their private commercial paper nor their social security number, nor their name that they created, but they're forcing you to do it under threat, duress, and coercion. Mm -hmm. Does that answer your question? This is why Noble Drawley said, leave all old business as it is. Yes. Meaning, don't claim no birth certificate. Or authenticate something that's not yours. Because you can't authenticate someone else's book. 
if you didn't write it. You get it? So, leave all old business as it is, and then if you learn law, that's XRL, X -rel mm -hmm. and then conduct all new business in your free national name. Yeah. You get it? Does that answer your question? Are you more planning to travel? Yes, it does. Thank you. Oh my I hope God. I if we stated for the record, we traveled. Yes, that hours. is my YouTube. Well, you switched, switched the H and the M, and then you spell my name correct. My mother had to be different, right? What happened? No, they spelled my name wrong. Oh. Are you more planning on traveling out and having classes? Well, we are more focused about building um, our people here because that also needs to be done. You know what I mean? Like, there's people like Sabir and Taj and Abdullah and all those other well known people who are traveling. So. It's, it, to me, it doesn't make sense to do what they're doing because they're doing it. It makes sense to do something other than what they're doing. You get it? Now, don't be sorry. It's, it's a common mistake. No need to be sorry. No need to be full of sorrow. Exactly. You can apologize. That would be accepted, but don't be sorry. Don't be full of sorrow. <laughs> right? No worries. Um, so, yeah. I, I don't really... Well, I thought... Hmm? I never do that. I thought well, you, would, you would like travels. So. No, I would like to travel, but if you if you have someone like Taj Tariq Bey who gets way more... He's way more known than I am. It would it would be a waste of my time to try to do what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Because he's already doing it. Okay, but I feel like to an extent I agree. Yeah. But then the other half is like, if the demand is high. All right, but listen. Supply, supply, supply. I, I know, but listen. <laughs> I know you're you're right, but we also still need things like establish here. Yes, like okay. land, so that so that like, like let's say like let's say we want Taj out here, right? If we had the farm up and running and we had our own commerce, we can pay for him to come out here. Mm -hmm. You get it? Yeah. So it's on us to set things up like nationals are supposed to do. It's funny though. If if my you know what? I want to test. Hold on, they're artists. asking you a question. What? Ask her what does, what she... does she love most about what she has learned so far? Oh man, you act you I feel like this is when I was had to do my Valedictorian speech for high school. <laughs> That's how I feel with these questions. Um, what was it? She learned so far. No, yeah. Well, Ask her what does she, she love, love most about what you learned so far. What I love most about what I've learned so far is having a sense of purpose of actually knowing truly who I am, being able to connect myself back to my ancestors. So that is what I love most about every, everything that I've learned. Um, learning about law was great and things like that, but actually me being able to self-identify myself amongst my people and amongst my nation, like that's great. Um, because now I have a sense of purpose. Now I have a sense like I know who I am. I know that I am on my land. Mm -hmm. I know who I am. Mm -hmm. So it's like once you know who you are, the way you go about life, the way you handle everyday situations, mm -hmm. all reflects on that. So, I'm no longer lost, I can say, because I know who I am. Mm -hmm. And there's plenty of people in this lifetime that will spend a lifetime and they will never find out who the hell they are and what their true purpose is. So, me understanding who I am and finding my true purpose, that has been the greatest of everything I have encountered and learned. Peace. That's dope. Yo, cuz. I want to put um, something together with all three. With all three what? Oh, they like, you know, my cousin's my camera woman. Yes. So I, th I think that's what they're talking about. That's my cousin right there. Um, Where? At the bottom. Your study's going to help more. Yeah. So, but, so I finished my book, so I'll go. I don't know if you're still in the projects. <laughs> if you're still in, in who's it, the Heights or the Manor, Galgo Court, whatever. I'll go to whatever projects and get your people together. <laughs> you know, we will build. I know uh, Ra, Ra came to my house the other day before he went to Spain. Um, well, really out in loose before he went with, you know, with our family. Um, and he said he wants to build with me more, but, you know, just hit me up. I'll go to the projects and teach. You touch it so Knowing you're not a crayon color or some, someone's property, no greater feeling. That's, that's facts. Yes, facts. Shalom. Yep, shalom. Shalom, Islam, same thing. Yeah, Shalom. This is great. Uh, what else we want to talk about? Um, Any more questions? Any well, someone, you see that? They yeah. want you, Taj, and Sabir. Oh, oh, that's what you're talking about. That would, talking about. Oh, that'll be a serious meeting of the minds right there. 
That'd be great. That'd be cool. I'll probably be more. I'll probably listen more than I talk though. Yeah, cause uh, Taj is in Siberia, cutting throat. <laughs> be serious about that. Uh, yeah. Plus, I with their travels, they probably encountered mm -hmm. so many different attitudes and people. Yeah. So, yeah. but no, that really would be lit um, to do that or whatever. That really would. Bro. So yeah. As far as the land, we need the people. Whoever's going to, you know, who's ever in Nahigansit territory, also known as Rhode Island. Well, it's not also known as. Rhode Island's claiming jurisdiction over the land. Okay. So. Yes. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Thank you for correcting me. Yeah, no problem. No problem. <laughs> so are that. you. So are you what? So are you. Um, what else? Oh, what? Dang. I had something. I'm telling you, that cutout of the video messed us up. I know. Like, tremendously. Um, something about something. No, oh yeah, once people realize that we're not from somewhere else, they're going to claim the land at their feet. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a wrap. It's going to be a wrap. It really will. Because this affects everything. Mm -hmm. like, I, like, a lot of our people want to do hair. And they think they need to get a license from some European to do hair on their own land. Um, and once they realize that, uh, excuse me, that a license is permission, they won't be thinking that they need permission to do hair. Like, that's all culture. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, there's a difference between going somewhere to get experience when, like, our culture, it, it was like more of an apprenticeship. Like, if you want to learn how to do hair, you go to those who know how to do hair. You don't go to some European school and then be in debt. To them. And that's part of the reason, that's one of the... Uh, reasons why Noble Dr. Ali said go back to that ancient mindset of your fore foremothers and forefathers because if you do research on like the Renaissance when we were teaching Europeans mm -hmm. we had schools for free housing for free public house uh, public baths so that they can take showers you know all peoples of all classes rich poor whatever was bathing together and then there were even private showers so we need to get back into that mindset unify or die I forgot who the, the science. who the guy is that says that quote, but yeah, unify or die. You are just as knowledgeable. I appreciate that. I know. I tell him that all the time. Because I'm just a guy. You know what I mean? I'm just a guy. Stop that. Cause, because <laughs> cause like, I started off watching Sabir and watching Taj, and I was introduced, introduced to this by uh, Kaba. So Kaba... Hiawatha Kamene, most people will call him Booker T. Coleman, mm -hmm. but interestingly enough, Hiawatha is one of the disciples of Prophet Deganawida, who helped form the Iroquois Confederacy to even bring these Europeans into government. And at the time, I didn't know that. I knew him as Booker T. Mm -hmm. And then... I seen the lecture that he did on Moors, and I was like, wow, this is dope. I never heard anything like this. And then I seen, I was looking for, so I was searching his name on YouTube, and then I seen a class, or like a, they were at Sonetta's house, I think. Mm. It was him, Taj, a bunch of other people, and they're on the couch. And then I heard Taj Tariq Bey talking about the difference between connotative linguistics and Dino. Hold on. Okay. Oh, it cut Got out because my no, cousin called me, I think. We walk here. Is this still going? Is this still rolling? I think it's still rolling. I have no idea. Hey, roll it, roll it, roll it. I guess. Oh, you're watching. I don't know how I'm watching if I'm not watching anymore. You said he was. All yeah. right, let me see. I don't know if it's still if this is still going. It probably yeah, is. Uh, Someone message us so we know. What about plates for our private vehicles? Some say the policy enforces is still harassing regardless. Is it still live? Well, if that question is still live, I'll answer the question. It says live really. now. 15 minutes. It says 1541. I see. Is it still live? Well, all right, here we go. Yeah, so <laughs> all we're right, good. it's still live. Um, all right. Now, the I'll I'll try to answer that question to the best of my ability. Um, having traveled not a lot. Like as an example. Oh, look, my cousin's watching now. Ooh. Are you still in Spain? Anyway, um <laughs> Like, when I had my, my private plates on my vehicle, or my automobile, 
I traveled. I was traveling here, right? You see, you see my plates, right? Yeah. I was traveling here for like three months with my, with my plates, right in front of policy enforcers, behind them. You know what I mean? Drove, traveled past them. They never stopped me. I traveled all the way to Delaware. You done with this? At the to the House of Re Reawakening Minds, and you'll see on Dr. Nalia's Facebook that she took a picture of my plates and posted it, and she tagged me in it. So I traveled all all the way there. Sat in class. Traveled all the way back, no problems. So, you can use that as an example. It, it just really depends on where you are yeah, and, and how active those moors are and how, how serious the Inquisition is uh, in that territory. Mm -hmm. But just, just know, caveat emptor, these Europeans aren't playing. If they want your car, they will take it. If that answers your question. But to alleviate any, any harassment, the goal is to form a jural society, begin to take our places amongst the affairs of men, and put the Europeans acting as the governors or whatever, or mayors or whatever, put them on notice like, we are Moors, this is our jural society, these are our people, if you harass our people, we are going to take you to court. That is the end game, to bring these people... If they harass any of our, any of our people, bring them to justice. And this is where studying law comes into play. Because if you study law, you'll see that the United Nations can submit uh, cases to the International Criminal Court under certain stipulations. Now, one of those stipulations is if a nation, the Morse nation, as an example, is unable to deal with that affair, or if a nation won't hear that affair. So the United States Corporation Company will never hear anything that will that will uh, um, expose themselves, even though they're already exposed. You get what I'm saying? So that's why that stipulation is in there. But we need to start operating as a nation of people first, because an individual can't represent a nation. You get it? Even though we can, but we can't. You get what I'm saying? We we need we need people. One flag, one people, one nation. That's a fact. We just need support. Not us. I'm not just saying us here, but you need support from people around you. <clears throat> if that answers your question, hopefully it does. I don't know why my head is so itchy under this. Look at my hair. <laughs> How does all this fit in here? He's starting to look like. Does that answer your question? Is this thing still alive? I have no idea. I don't know. All right. So what was I talking about? All right. How I yes. how I came into this. All right. So I'm not sure where the video cut, but I was talking about Dr. Kaba. Answered it perfectly. Thank you. I try. So I was talking about Dr. Kaba, how I met. Not I didn't meet him, but how I was introduced to this stuff. My cousin Ra B Ra, son God knowledge, right? Right. Introduced me to it, and um. So I seen Dr. Kaba, I seen his lecture on the Moors, and then I seen him with a little open discussion with Tosh Sharik Bey. I seen Tosh talking about connotative linguistics, denotative linguistics, and I've never seen any one of our so-called leaders speak as intelligently as Tosh Sharik Bey did and as passionately as he did with just a bunch of historical facts backing what he said. And then, like, I was just at awe at first. Straight up, just at all, and I started by just listening to what he said, listening, 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 and then, at the time, I had no library. The first two books I purchased were Black's Law Dictionary, fourth edition, and the American uh, Dictionary on the English language. Those were the first two books I got, and I was just cross-referencing everything Todd Street Bay said, and everything he said was a fact. And then I kept building my library, kept reading, was on RV Bay Publications, was, you know, just still in awe at, like, learning, because um, there's so much information, and, but I just kept going. So for someone to say I'm as knowledgeable as them, I think that is one of the highest honors ever, besides comparing me to Noble Draw Lee, I guess. <laughs> So thank you for that. And just to check 
Yeah. I'll, I'll try to answer that question to the best of my ability. Yeah. Besides, we're still on. All right, cool. <laughs> See, you just said that. Yeah, we're just checking if we're still live because they're messing with the camera. See, we there, we live, baby. Uh, oh, share it. Do you share it? Share no, it. Share it and yet. tag your best friends in it. Don't tag me in it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I mean, Never stop learning. Exactly. I have best friends. Never stop learning. Did you forget that the process of me evolving? And elevated. Was eliminating people from your life? They eliminated themselves. To didn't I tell you that was gonna happen? Yes, you did tell it, but you know how I am. <laughs> I know. Until it happened. Exactly. Man, man learns not by being told, but I told you it was gonna happen. Yes. I told you. you. Were right. Once you stop giving people, just giving and giving and giving, because they don't give anything in return, they will disappear themselves. Mm -hmm. And then you help those people who actually want to help and put in work. My mom's like, "You a vegan? What the fuck? What's you and the kids gonna eat?" Food? Food? <laughs> what are you eating? Dead fucking Our circle gets smaller by the day. Yep. Mm-hmm. Shalom. Preach. It's kind of like the Matrix. Mm-hmm. Well, it is the Matrix, but... Like, see, like, but me, I'm one of those people that, like, if someone was willing to learn and actually study and apply their, their learning and teachings, I'd be cool with that. Mm -hmm. But it's the problem that people ask all this of us, we give it to them, for them to remain, what, stagnant and not do anything mm -hmm. with the information? Now, we are fire signs, so we are all about movement and energy and getting stuff done. Yes. We, like, this is one thing I need to understand. That's amazing. That other people aren't as... Whoever's what? been fasting for 33 days. I heard <clears throat> after, like, the fifth day, like, if you, especially if you're a beginner, like, after, like, the fifth day, that's when, like, that whole urge of feeling hungry, like, it'll subdue. So it usually takes about that first week. So they always say like the first week is the most challenging. Feels great. Uh, I remember one time I was fasting. Uh, I was fasting and I was drinking. Well, I was doing a, a water fast or a wet fast, whatever you want to call it. I was drinking water and I started chewing the water. Mm. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. Uh, would you be against going live? Now, the problem with, well, it's not really a problem. But some of the issue like, with the classes is some people don't want to be on camera. Mm -hmm. And we try to make it so when my cousin is recording, she can zoom in on, on stuff and, like, move with me. And a lot of people have been saying how, like, they like that and it kind of feels like they're actually in class. So we try to keep it like that. And also, sometimes we have to build off camera. Because sometimes we get people in class who will um, incriminate themselves. And just bring up issues that like aren't really relevant. So we try to regulate. That. Yeah, we try to regulate that as much as possible. Mm. So I'm not against it. It's just. But it also brings distraction too, hmm? because if I said it also can bring distraction too. Like if you're in having the class and you're trying to make a point, let's yeah. say, um, nationalization, and then you got people. Hitting you live with like 20, 30 different questions, mm -hmm. that's kind of take away from your segment yeah. of what you're trying to teach at that Could present. you go into the civil order about how these actors slash imposters ignore it? I did a three yes, series did. video on the general civil orders mm -hmm. on my YouTube, and I think it's called Decolonization Part 1, one 2, two and three. 3. Yes, it is. I read the whole thing and I explain it as I go to the best of my ability. Um, so you can check that out on my YouTube. I like the hair. You washed your hands great. Now lose your pants. I would say out of all three videos, no urge the second video to was the best. Oh yeah, cuz. I, I quit. I stopped smoking, by the way. But we can still build. We can still build. Anything else, people? What are y'all doing? I want to know what y'all doing. What y'all doing with y'all lives? I know what I'm doing, mine. I just want to know what y'all doing. Help me understand better. How did you... Oh, well, I guess I'll be... I was going to ask them how did they get introduced to this information, but then I'll be reading paragraphs. Right, exactly. <laughs> at work, getting fiat. Learning at work, great. Where do you work? If you don't mind me asking. Shit, that must be a good job. Oh, you're talking about Ra? Yeah, when Ra gets back. Yeah, when, when he gets back, we can, we'll, we'll build a lot. 
Because he, when he came to my house, we were talking about Dr. Ben and stuff like that. I was watching Moors in Court on YouTube. Oh, that's how you learned about it? Cool. Mm. You learned from me, huh? I was, I was going to ask you, but I think I'm the answer. <laughs> Shipping company. Like, domestically or internationally? That's a lot of activity. You're a barber? Yeah, my cousin was talking about, he wants to, um, international dope. Um, my cousin was talking about how he wants to be a barber, and I was trying to tell him, you don't need a license to do it. Mm -hmm. um, license is permission. I've been on the skirts recently, but this one sounds is really right now. Nah, it, more, it is, it's a divine and national movement, mm -hmm. and the more you study it, the more you'll see it that way. But, uh, what I do, um, well, it depends on where, where you get which moors you're studying from. Because um, some moors, like I try to just stick to mainly the law stuff because that's what's affecting us right now. Um, but there's a lot of divine stuff. <laughs> there's a lot of divine stuff that, that's in, that comes into play. And like I said earlier, you will get tested. You will get tested. I had one, but it expired. Yeah, what? I don't know. But yeah, I mean, all right, so cuz, since you said you've been on the scriptures, right? Look up etymology, E T Y M O L O G Y. Yeah, 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 the law stuff. But, but still, scripture too. Because, like, uh, when people say, first it was the Word, and then the Word was God, and the Word was with God, and all things come into existence through Him. People use the word God as if it's a noun. The word God is not a noun. It's a verb. It's derived from Sanskrit, and it means to invoke, to call upon, and to pour out. So that's as divine as you get. You get what I'm saying? So in that scripture, it's telling you that through your words, you can make things manifest. You see what I'm saying? So that's that's scripture. You know what I mean? <laughs> but and then we're doing we're done with the laws of language etymology. See what I'm saying? Sorry. I just want to see what you're looking at. Well, I've seen the whole thing that you posted with the pregnant, need help, text, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sorry. That's crazy, right? A little bit. It's sad. It is sad. Sorry, that happens. This is a, I need to stop this. I need to stop this. This is like the second video now that I've done where I get Oh, you use this all in your phone? Yes. <laughs> um, we're gonna wait through your book. His book. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Got some jewels up in there. Yeah, but you're you're saying we are gods as if God is a noun. We God because God is a verb. Yeah. So you're still right. God needs to um, look to bring him. Uh, thank you about the book. Please criticize me because. I have a Virgo rising, so I'm hard on myself anyway, so I try to be the best I can be, so give me all the feedback you want. I know the typos in it. I'm, I'm, I'm working on editing it now, Work, working on the typos, so I can produce more physical copies of the book with less typos, so I know that that exists. What do you say? What is your ascendant? Rising. Uh, Virgo. Virgo? Yeah, rising is the ascendant. Okay, yeah. Mm. Okay, so your ascendant is uh, Virgo? Yeah. My name is Gemini. So thank you for the, thank you for the, bringing out the book. Um, also thank y'all. I've seen some of y'all like post on your Facebook thingies, kind of like um, you know, Facebook does a Snapchat thing. We have a story. Yes. Some people be sharing like my book and the yeah. YouTube on it. So you, a lot of people share your, all your that. stuff, man. You're always getting shares. Some are still claiming American Indian as our proper nationality and say that more <laughs> isn't a nationality. But it's actually a sham. <laughs> they say everyone is part of a tribe, and that is where we would find our see more true identity. True identity. What are your thoughts on that? All right, so I did a lecture. Mm -hmm. It's called "Exposing Dirty Moors," Preach. and 
I have another, you know, I'm not going to speak about that. Uh, <laughs> um, so, watch the video expo exposing Dirty Morris, as well as get you Black's Law Dictionary 5th edition and look up what an Indian is. Don't be laughing. And then in that law book, it will tell you that an Indian is an aboriginal or how, how is it worded? Uh, a Native American, I mean, an, an Indian is, dang, I can't remember word for word, excuse me. Oh, you did watch the lecture? Oh, you already know. All right, so that's, that's you already know my position on it then. You already know my position on it. <laughs> but if you look it up in the law dictionary, it'll tell you that they're indigenous to the United States. Then if you look up what the United States is, United States Code, uh, Title 28, Chapter 6, Subchapter 176, Subsection 3002, it will say that the United States is a federal corporation, not a landmass. So if you're indigenous to a corporation, then you are clearly a corporate asset. Also, look up the history of America and you will never find that any of our ancestors ever, 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 ever called this landmass or any other landmass on this continent, India. Therefore, we are not Indians. They just can't seem to let go of these brands. Yeah, I mean, like, like Noble Jarley said, right? There have been many hearts who have turned to stone. You know, many people have eyes to see, cannot see, ears to hear, cannot hear. At least they will be confounded by their sins. A lot of our people don't want to be hy hypocrites. They've been calling themselves Indians for years. Mm -hmm. They've been back in the Indian thing for years. They don't want to. They don't want to go against that. They're Indian to the day they die. They got the. They got all the good stuff. They got the pictures. You know what I mean? They got all that stuff. They don't want to sound like hypocrites. Even though the best thing to do, is to just realize when you're wrong. Just like when I was calling myself black for 25 years, I realized I was wrong. Then I started honoring my mothers and fathers and calling myself by what I am, by more. So, you know, like, because you, you also got to think about it, like, being confounded with your sins isn't always, you know, a sin is ignorance, you know, your, your actions, you know, sin's a lot of things. <laughs> Excuse me. So if if you t if you tell someone who's like an elder or been calling themselves Indians for forty something years, you know what I mean? They've been calling themselves Indian and thinking that they're Indian for forty something years. Mm -hmm. This is why Noble Jarley said he's not trying to put new wine into old skin. You get it? And he said he came from the children and the and the yet unborn because some of our people's minds are just gone already. You know what I mean? Well, hold on, I gotta get my kids in real quick. Yep. He's outside. Oh, <laughs> already messed up. I'll just take the camera with me since it's coming with me. Oh, hold on, now my camera, my phone's about to die. Look at you. I mean, I was gonna take it, but I don't want to. I do know what I'm doing. All right. Dang God, God! All right, so keep the busy, keep the people busy, and I'll be back. Well, I'm not as great as you are, You're but. You're greater than me. No, I am not. I'm. <sighs> You can, you can create children, alright? There's nothing greater than that. I can't do that. Okay. He makes a good point, guys. Um, yeah, there's there's actual, absolutely no point. And then one thing, like, see me, with, with kind of like how I feel in regards to the quote-unquote Indians is they sold out our people. You get what I'm saying? They sold themselves out. They sold out our people. So, of course... Talking if you if you have because some some more do have debates with these so-called Indians, which you don't want to have these debates with them because some of these quote unquote Indians, their main position is to keep us from the truth. Not a truth. Yes, words do whoever said that. Words do have powers. And uh that's why earlier in the video I said <laughs> when uh Jamal said what he said. I said, uh, I said, no, you don't want to do that. Go and cast in spells or whatever. And yeah, cause, cause I, I understand that. Um, like real quick, I used to always call myself nice and say, I'm a nice person. And, um, right, let me just move, my, move, move the camera a little bit.
So just sit on that side, so you know on the camera. Hello. This is my cousin. We'll keep yeah. his name discreet right now because we're live. He was in one of your classes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so you already met him? Well, wasn't formally introduced, but yes. So you already Talib. seen his face. Yes, Talib. All right, so back to what I was saying, though. Yes, nice means foolish. See, I was getting to that, but then, you know, I got interrupted real quick. But yes, that's my point. I used to always call myself nice, and then I had to realize that that means that I'm foolish, and I'm definitely not foolish. So that's when I stopped saying I'm a nice person, because I realized what I was saying out in, to the ethers and to the universe is that I'm foolish. Um, Did you start reading the book already? Mm -hmm. what do you think so, book? yeah, words, that's why I really say that too. All the time, words do cast spells. And like when people are telling me they're sorry, I'm like, do not say that. You definitely know. Or they say good morning. We ain't morning nothing this way. You better take that elsewhere. <laughs> Run that back all the way back. Let's take it from the top and let's try again. <laughs> from the top, people. From the top. Um. So you're yeah. going off. You're going off. What? Well, I was talking about casting spells. I know you were. Like, you know. You know? <laughs> And I still, and I'm still learning though too. Like sometimes I find myself just writing in, like my grammar. Sometimes mm -hmm. I'm like, I know I should spell it this way, but sometimes I'm like, I don't care. But then I have to stop myself. Like, no, no, no. You gonna cast a spell if you set mm -hmm. it out there like that? You, you ain't trying to have the universe, you know, get the wrong impression on what you're trying to, what you're trying to get back. So it's like, and that's the thing, that's why, I don't know how many people watched my video that I did with um, the Hermetic Principles of Mentalism, where I went into, like, the fact is, like, you are in control of your reality. So entirely, that like, is weird. yes, so entirely whatever the hell you do, and whatever you, decisions you make, like, be practical in them. You reap what you sell. Yes, exactly, so. I was just reiterating a little bit for the people. Oh, you were, you were going, you're going in. You know, I'm not really going in, guys. You know, I always, <laughs> I always get told I'm doing something I'm not doing. You ain't <laughs> okay? going in right now. No, I'm not. All right. Okay, the people talked about casting the spell, so and I you're was going just, in on that. I was just, you know, <laughs> I'm uh, not going in. I kind of, I want to hear what you got to say. Just anything. Uh, so. Let's just make this a conversation. That's all. That's all. It's all about just conversation. Exposure. He don't want to be on camera, but no, I know he doesn't. I'm. Um, hello. We both started this, so we both gonna be in it. So. Just keep talking. I'll probably just. Into, into well, room. if you have any inquiries, you know. By well, all means. one of the things like, Rara -Ra came to my house the other day, and we were talking about religion, mm -hmm. and um, just th that there's so much confusion about religion. Because well, because it, it makes money that that there's so much confusion. But well, people don't get that um, the things that we call Excuse racism me for a minute. Um, aren't racism in their continued actions. Hey, Mom. Of, like, hey. I don't know how much you know about history, but I talk about it in my book. I talk about the Inquisition in my book. What we're facing right now is not racism. It's a systematic, pretty much game that they're playing on us. And they use it by keeping us dumb in school, by putting so-called Christian leaders in, in charge of our organizations and, and keeping us stagnant even though it looks like we're making progress. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, like, the situation that our people are really in is way deeper than what we think it is. You know what I mean? And, and the point of, like, nationalizing it is to take back what's ours. You know what I mean? Like, like a lot of our people talk about buying back the block, right? And if we just use basic, basic reasoning, why would you buy back something that's yours? And then, and then, and then, like Malcolm X, who corrected his name to Al Haj Malik Al Shabazz, right? He started talking about nationalizing, and he started talking about how we're only way we're going to get our salvation is through nationalizing. And then he was going to bring the, the United States um, to the United Nations for genocide because we're not facing racism; we're facing genocide. That's a crime. You know what I'm saying? So, so we're always dealing with mental competence of the people. That's why one of their operations is to keep us dumb in school. Mm -hmm. So basically, basically our people are ignorant, meaning we lack information, and we're acting like we're not. Mm -hmm. And then, and then we, and then we get defensive and combative, so people fear us because we can fight. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. the the, por the purpose of this is to just 
put things into context. Right? So instead of complaining about racism, let's complain about what it actually is. But it's not Genocide. Racism. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's the point of the discussion. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But our people will get so they they're so passionate about the word racism and racist. Mm-hmm. Oh, you really? Oh, you call them racist? Like that? That don't, that doesn't mean anything. And then and then the principles of language come into play. You and your eyes. Um, Leave me alone. The principles of language come into play when you when you when you define what racism is. Race is the human species, right? Race means to shoot out. Now, don't don't as everyone knows like the so-called black woman is the original woman. So we all come out of Africa, right? But the woman's not black. Exactly. Right? So we all come from the same person. So there's one race. Our people will say, you know, we're the original people of the planet, but then they'll say there's different races. So so you're dealing with someone who's claiming to be competent, but they're displaying that they're incompetent. Because you can't say there's one race and then say there's a, something called the black race. Mm-hmm. And the white race and the yellow race, because those are crowns. The human race is identified by different nationalities. Anything outside of the human race is a fish, a cat, a monkey, a turtle, an elephant. So if, you, if you're saying something other than the human race, you're wrong. And that's how they get us. So they get us out of human law. Mm-hmm. You get it? And it's that basic. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. That is, it's so basic. But you tell it to some more people and they don't get it. They're like, no, nah, I'm black. Well, black's an adjective so you can't be black. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm spiritual. Well, spirit means breath, so what are you talking about? I'm breathing. Hold on. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying, and, and then and then we're our people are trained to be arrogant, and we're trained to act like we know everything when we don't. Let's let's just admit that we don't know everything. I know I don't know everything, oh, but I'm okay. trying. You know what I'm saying, and I'm open to correction and and always <gasps> subject to change. Can you do this? Can you do well, your first thing? First of all, I'll sit there. Yes, because that's where you were. So yeah, let's let's get our positions back. The musical chairs on here. For real, man. All right, so real quick, though, for the people, because apparently they want it on my Facebook. Let me just tell you something. I'll be posting and sharing stuff like Talib does and Jamal does over here. So don't think you're going to come on my page and you're going <laughs> She will go off on you. Just where I won't go off on you, she will go off on you. For what, though? Why are you? You're giving people bad impressions of me. <laughs> That's not bad. How's that bad? I'll be like, I'm not going to talk to Sister Hannah <laughs> yeah. because she just be going off all the damn time. I'm just playing. Okay, so my Facebook... Is Zahid? It is eugenics. You're right. Taib Bay. The only reason why the A ain't Wait, there. Wait, just comment. Just comment on the on the phone. And then oh, you know, okay. Yeah. Well, see, you have to wait till I get my phone. It is eugenics. Phone. You're right. It is eugenics. It is genocide. Yep. But those are the arguments we need to make. Uh, what mm-hmm. else we have? Oh, well, you got a new comment. Well, I respect the honesty. You got to be. I'd be honest. Um, all right, so now, dealing with other things. Mm-hmm. You were here earlier, but I'll bring it up again. Economics. Our people need economics. Well, a better economics condition. We are trained to think that if we go buy our own land, that we don't know it's ours because we think we're Negro, Black, Colored, Spanish, Latin American, African American, Ethiopian, all that kind of stuff, right? Mm-hmm. We don't know who we are. So we think we need to go to the Europeans. I say European because they're colonizing our land. That's just a fact. Look up the history of Ellis Island between the late 1800s, early 1900s. About 12 million pale-skinned people from Europe came here illegally. Mm-hmm. Just saying. Um, they're colonizing our land. The Europeans are claiming to be the Americans. They're, they're teaching us. us that we're from somewhere else mm-hmm. when they're from somewhere else. Mm-hmm. They're, they're making us dead at law. By denationalizing us, by us calling ourselves black, colored, all that kind of stuff. So we go to them thinking we need to buy land from them using something that's not money and getting a dead, a dead pledge called a mortgage, which isn't ownership of property. So then we think we need to pay this off so we're suppressed, so we work their jobs to pay them off. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. This is where the rights of indigenous people comes into play. Where our people keep talking about reparations. Reparations means to repair mm-hmm. a nation. Black's not a nation. You see the trick? Mm-hmm. Right? So, to begin to even own property, you have to know basics. Basic geography. Basic principles of law. All the stuff we're talking about, all the stuff in my book is basic stuff. Mm-hmm. But if you're new to it, it seems like it's wild. But it's b- b- super basic. Mm-hmm. Ask any Japanese person where they're from and they'll say Japan. Ask any black person where they're from and they can't show you on a map where they're from. 
Or they'll say something incompetent like, I'm from Rhode Island. Rhode Island is a corporation. Mm -hmm. That's like saying I'm from Walmart. So they keep us mentally incompetent on all levels. It's, it's, it goes deep, but it's so basic. Like they said, where am I from? Well, yeah. Well, or you look mixed. Yeah, what? Clearly we're all mixed. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and also part of the game is they play the, the color game, like the, your skin tone. Mm -hmm. Right. But if you look up the definition of American, it's one of the various copper tone natives found in America. So since they want to play the skin tone, the color game, we'll play the color game. You ain't American. And that's not Formalist. like that's not that's not an attack on no one. That shit, it is what it is. I like if I go to if I go to China, I can't start walking around saying I'm Chinese, or just start saying I'm Asian. I'm not Asian. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's it's basic stuff, but but I'm someone who's who's just given the knowledge just to give it because it helps us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? As a people, period. The certain people who try to sell you, like when we went to the barbershop, and that guy in the chair was talking about some other moors, talking about they got a nice car, a nice house. They're selling people this information. That's why they're, they're living like they're living, because they're selling it, because this information is powerful. Oh, of course. They're, okay, hold on. I want, you know, I, you know I put it, we, we put a controversy, so I feel as though you should give your viewpoint, and I about should what? give mine on that question right there. Do you think all of these school shootings are false flags set up by the so-called government? Now, if you're going to talk about false flag, you have to be clear that a false flag does not mean human lives weren't lost. Exactly. You have to understand that a false flag means they sent someone out there to do something terrible mm -hmm. so that the end game is to restrict human beings' right to bear arms. Mm -hmm. So, now that that's clear, yes, I know that that is a false flag. Thank you. And I agree as well. We clear? We good? We get it? Now, I'm not taking away from the fact that human beings may have lost their lives. Not, but what was the main purpose about. for why that was done? Yes. That's and what it, you got to look at. You yes. got to step out from like the main point of 17 bodies dead yeah, don't, even, don't even, talk don't about, even go don't into even that. You got to go into the fact of what is really going on and occurring right now mm -hmm. that the people's attention, they want somewhere else. And if, and if, you're, and if our people are so one with the spiritual world and attached with the ancestors as we claim to be, mm -hmm. you will understand that part of the seven hermetic principles is cause and effect. Yes. So what was the what is the effect that they want out of that cause? To take away our second amendment rights right. so mm -hmm. that when they begin to encroach upon us even more, we have nothing to defend ourselves with. Exactly. It, it's, once you look at things for what it is and not who you are, you will see clearer. So once you remove your emotions... You will see clearly. Like they always try to say it's an assault rifle or it's a weapon. Mm -hmm. Something only becomes a weapon. If a weapon is something that's used for offensive combat and destructive Thank purposes you. only. Okay. A arm is something that a man holds in his hands for his defense. Yes. So if you're defending your family and you have an AR in your hand, there's nothing wrong with you. Exactly. Because any sane person will have an AR to defend their family. Mm -hmm. It's your Bill of Rights right. Exactly. But, but you also have to remember the democracy is a continuation of the Spanish Inquisition and their main tool is fear. Mm -hmm. So when people see that a bunch of people lost their lives due to an AR, they're causing fear into people's minds. Mm -hmm. So then it makes sense that they're, that they're restricting people from having certain arms in their house. Mm -hmm. Like, if you, if you think about it clearly like that and you stay away from emotion, That's what then I'm you're saying. fine. But once people start saying, oh, you're taking away the fact that people died, no, I, it sucks that people die. No, but the problem it is people are attaching themselves instead of really stepping outside of that and just the emotion aspect yeah. of it and saying, this is the facts, mm -hmm. I'm going to make a practical decision and actually be practical. Yeah, but, but people also need to understand that once someone starts making an emotional argument against you, stop the conversation because you're going to go nowhere. Yeah, because it's all, now they're in their emotions and they're not standing on the facts mm -hmm. anymore. They're just going off of their emotions and their beliefs and their viewpoints mm -hmm. and their perspective. Like... Like, a lot of our people don't don't like hearing that a mortgage is an ownership. But if you go ahead and tell them look at a law book and it says it right in the law book and they still think that they own it despite the facts, what do you? What is what is the point of continuing that conversation? Look at Sandy Hook for example. Remember that? Any anybody remember how? That yeah, but was... I don't even want to keep going into that because. No, I was just gonna say that was another. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, that's but, what I was gonna say. Yeah, but it's it's kind of like. 
All right. Yes. You know I mean? Yes. Okay. Yes. It's kind of like a rabbit hole that we can, and then we just start talking about every other thing that is a, you know what I mean? It's, that's a rabbit hole that I'm not, I already know I'm not trying to talk about because it's a rabbit hole. Yes. What else we got? Exactly. Scripts telling us this would happen. Yup. More mm -hmm. science telling us how to get out of it. Yes. Exactly. We've been saying this. <laughs> exactly. Pe people think that Moors, Moors is some belief or group that you join. Mm-hmm. Is Japanese a group that you join? No. No, it's not. They're a people. <laughs> and then and then people say, how do I become a Moor? Well, ask a Japanese person, how did they become Japanese? She had bloodline. And then a lot of our people also say, define what a Moor is. Define what a Japanese is. <laughs> and then I'll tell you what a Moor is. Mm-hmm. Right. Just dumb. But you know what the thing is, growing up, if they were told they were Puerto Rican or Dominican or yeah, black. They believe that, though. They believe, believe that shit, though. They believe something fake and fight for it, but they don't want to use their brains. <laughs> but then every time we try to hit them with some knowledge, then it's third degree in us with 20 million questions. Yeah. And it's not in, like... Yes, they do think it's a religion. That is that yeah. is actual fact. And it's not. And it's not. Now, because if you look at history, read history, <laughs> read mm -hmm. Golden Age of the Moor, and you will quickly find out that there were Moors who were Christians. There were Moors who were Buddhists. There were Moors who believed in Confucius. Didn't and they talk about and anything and everything in between. Because just like this, Japanese people who are Christian and Buddhist and Japanese people who, worship, who uh, follow Islam, they're still Japanese. Freedom of religion. Mm -hmm. These people don't understand basic civilization. That's why they say things like that. And it's not because they're dumb. It's because we're trained like rats in their schools. carrying a gun, calling it arms, and win a case on the Second Amendment. What do you mean? As long as they're not injuring anybody or harming anyone, then technically they can walk around with their bare arms. Yeah, hold on. I mean, it does cause disturbance. They will get no, caused. It no. What I'm saying is people seeing someone walking down the street with an AR-15, well, yes, they're going to yes. call the, and, the p policy and, enforcers. In society that we live in right now, yes. That's what I'm saying. But if you go to like the islands, there'll be people with machetes walking around. Yeah, and that's normal, yes. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So... I, I, I'm agreeing with you. I'm just saying put it into context because we're also dealing with people who are mentally ill. Okay, yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Not y'all, but some of our people see, are mentally see, ill. I mean, I could throw some things out there and then you could put it in context. Yeah, but I don't want to always have to do that. <laughs> um, what was he saying? My first time watching you live, I've been telling my Israel people that y'all are more. Yes. Now, when you're dealing with the Hebrews, so-called Hebrew Israelites, first of all, def define Israel, right? Mm -hmm. Israel. Isis, moon, Ra, sun, Il, seven planetary forces that affect this planet. So, in the Bible it says, I leave you these signs and symbols, sun, moon, and stars. We're all children of the sun, moon, and stars. Boom. Get that out the water. Hebrew. It's a verb. Ibri. It means to cross over. Then, you also must know world history. Around 250 million years ago, just like when Noble Dr. Ali talked about, chapter 47... When the continents were connected, the Atlantic was a river. The people who crossed that river are the Ibri, the ones who crossed over. Does that make sense? You get it? But they're coming from it from a spiritual side. They claim that it's spiritual. Don't know that spirit means breath. And they're, and they're claiming it as an identity. Mm -hmm. That's like saying, I'm a, I'm a cloud person. I'm the children of the cloud. Because I live under clouds. Hebrew Israelite is the sun, moon, stars, and we cross the river. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. The Bible calls me Israel. The Bible was also written by around, what was it, 72 Europeans, transliterated out of its original tongue. Mm -hmm. So you also have to take that into context. You also have to take into context that Christianity wasn't created until 325 AD, Constantine, and then he officially decreed that the Nicene Creed would be the official the official religion of Rome. And actually, uh, one of the schools that my mother sent uh, my sister to was a Catholic school. And right in their little pamphlet, their little leaflet, it says the Nicene Creed right on it today. So, if you think this history is wrong, then I don't know, you're dumb. Yeah, because if, cause if it says, if the history says Nicene Creed is the official name of Christianity, and then these Christians have on their leaflet Nicene Creed, 
Then one and two add up and make three. That's math. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right in Revelations. Revealing Yeshua was brown with woolly hair and wear brown with woolly hair. Same conclusion, yeah. So all you really need is the law side and that's what my book talks about. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, when... When you do, when you're developing your, yourself like religiously, that's why that's why when you when you're dealing with like the hermetic principles, you're dealing with the hermit, the people who are secluded, they they're alone all the time, the hermits. You know what I'm saying? So when you get religion, that's you. Like all the prophets, they had to go alone to get to get their message from Allah, because guess who they're listening to, right? So when you're dealing with hermits, you're dealing with people who are alone. Mm -hmm. So you develop your spiritual self. On your own. And then you come correct and you deal with national principles. Get it? And if you need help from priests, then you go to other people who are alone a lot and they tell you, you know, yeah, I was able to manage my thoughts like this and this is what I observe from nature and then this is what I do. Like, that's really what it is. It's very simple. Huh? Yeah, I know. I know you are. But I have this little thing with, with people saying they're woke and not knowing basic basic uh science. basic science of government and law, yeah. Cause like I never call myself woke. Because just like before I came into the science when I was calling myself black and thinking Jesus was his real name and stuff like that, I still never called myself woke. You know what I'm saying? I just shared my opinion because I knew it was my opinion. Now that I know law, I'm saying this is what I know. So I never say I'm woke because I'm, I'm still learning. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And a lot of Israelites don't believe that the bloodline comes from their mother because they worship the European. Mm -hmm. That's the patriarch. You, the same people who don't believe in just basic things will call the European white, which means God, because the European is the black man's God. So, it's kind of like, and even if you look up Grand Sheet Cujo, look up Canaan Land Moors, there's a Hebrew Israelite who claims to be Moorish American and he dispels all of this stuff. So, show the Hebrews, another Hebrew, breaking down their own science. It ain't easy to wake up. It's not hard either. Mm -hmm. It's called choice and consent. If, alright, it says this right in the Bible. Observe all things which I commanded of you, and lo, I am with you always. Meaning, look around in nature, observe nature, and you will see the truth. If you observe the, the birds, look at, look at plants, look at ants, look at spiders, look at squirrels, look at birds. Their life is simple. The only reason why it's hard for us here is because there are colonizers on our land making life hard. Look at nature, look at, look at our condition, and you will come to that conclusion. And don't believe me, look at nature, and then look at our situation. And then look at humanity as in general, and you'll see life is easy. Except for when someone's robbing you, that's when it's not easy. See, but I also, for that person, I, I stated maybe like, 10, like 15 minutes ago, that their goal is not to tell the people the truth and be honest mm -hmm. with the people. Their goal is to keep the people where they are. Mm -hmm. So they're not going to be truthful and honest. Even though they know the history and know what is true, they're not going to tell that to you or the next person because they have a, per uh, a motive. Mm -hmm. And so to stay on that, they're going to just confuse you and lie to you and tell you whatever. Yep. May I interject? Yes. In the Rex 84 plan, it says where there is confusion, there is profit. Mm -hmm. These people, again, you have to observe things for what they are, not who you are. Mm -hmm. So stop necessarily attaching your morals to other people because other people don't have your morals. Mm -hmm. Look at what they're doing. Look at how much fiat they're making off of it, and then you'll see exactly why they're doing. Because as man unfolds, his God unfolds. And if that person's God is Rome, he will chase Rome's paper. I brought up too, like, um, 
so-called Indians. Mm -hmm. And they sold out people. Mm -hmm. you and again, like, again, if you weren't here, write this down. If you think any Indian, any so-called Indian chief claiming to be Aboriginal here in North America, which they keep calling the United States, which is really Morocco. If you're in this territory, look up the joint memorandum of understanding between the Narragansett tribe of Indians, a Rhode Island corporation, not, not, a, not a people, a Rhode Island corporation, against them and the state of Rhode Island, 1978, and you'll see exactly who sold you out. So these people try to say Moors are selling you out. Well, they're Moors too, and they're selling you out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just just do the history. Well, yeah. uh, I feel like I could be wrong. But mm -hmm. I feel like Indians, so-called Indians in Rhode Island, or even Narragansett, mm -hmm. get money from the state. Yeah, whoever the same people they're power. fighting against. Exactly. So, so like they're tax exempt, but like they still have mm -hmm. people they like get checks and all. Yes. That. Yeah, but guess yes. what? They don't. They don't regulate nothing, yeah. though. You get what I'm saying? They 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 sold their people. They gave up their rights. Like mm -hmm. they gave up their land to be like regulated. You know what I like to use that as an example? What? You seen the movie Django? Yeah. You know how uh, Samuel Jackson was the house nigga? Mm -hmm. He was living a comfortable life, mm -hmm. right? And then what he do? He sold out. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Jamie Foxx, yeah, dude, right? Yeah. He gets to live his he gets to live his good life with Massa. Nice car, nice shoes. You know, but at the expense of his people. Yep. So that's what it is. Hmm. Nah, yeah. Uh, look up again. I'm telling you, cause look up, look up, look it up. I did a class on it. It's called Exposed and Dirty Moors. I did a whole class on it. Yes. And it has their signatures on it. Uh huh. And it's, it's it tells you right in the document. Nar Narragansett Tribe of Indians is a Rhode Island corporation. So on the on the front lines, they'll argue like we're bringing the, we're bringing our people justice, but who they get paid by. What, what do you just, who's funding them? The state government. So while so while our families living in the projects, they get to live comfortable. But our land's under occupation. Like what they did pretty much was like was like, okay, they and to become tax tax exempt and things of that mm -hmm. nature, what they did was sell, sell their people out. Yeah. So hmm? Sell their people out. But yes. Exactly. It doesn't it doesn't get any more simpler than that. And what they did was they allowed these Europeans to regulate to on, their, yep. on their lands for the sake of them being tax exempt yep. and having other things yep. um, as quote unquote benefits. Yep. But in the end, they they They're gave still up subjects. everything. Exactly. They are still subjects. Exactly. So it's like, don't think that they're any better talking about I'm a Native American and a Cherokee and all of this and all of that because them people sold out our people. And, it's, and, it, and, it only, and it sounds good to those who don't know law, but once you study law, you'll, you'll see it is what it is. You know what I mean? And we don't need to mention anyone's name because the people will see it is what it is. This is nuts. It's not nuts. <laughs> it's just new information. And, and you'll, see, you'll see the movies has always been telling you. The sellouts is our own people. Um, and then they're just pointing fingers at the European. You know, it's crazy. I always thought every time I see a movie, I'm like, yo, there's got to be something to it. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. And, and they're telling you right yeah, in your like, face. I've just been like doing mad, um, mad research and like some of the people that I'm listening to when they yep. expose some of the movies or just some of the dates and some yep. of the just stupid little pictures. I'm just like, wow. Yep. I know that shit. Yep. I knew that. Yep. <laughs> Again, uh, right? This I'm not teaching anyone anything that they don't know already. Right? The word educate means to draw out what is already in you. We're supposed to draw out the best that's in each other and then correct this problem. This is why Allah sent us here. The Great Spirit, Jehovah, Yahweh, whatever you want to call it, it sent us here to do something. So let's do it. Okay, but... They're, okay. They're yeah. sellouts too, but the, yeah. but the other part, the, the so-called Indians are sellouts. Yeah. So as long as the so-called black leaders, yes. But mm -hmm. it's not just the black leaders it's the who, are, who are sellouts. It's the quote-unquote, it's the so-called Indians mm -hmm. too. Like there are plenty of people... Selling like yep. our people, like yep. you get what I'm saying. So it's it's not just quote unquote black leaders, please. And then my thing is, hello, first word black. How do you expect them 
Like you can't. Yeah, but you but they know that our people don't read. They know our people are miseducated in school. That's why they'll wear this in a secret, in mm-hmm. secret, right? And they'll have this pinned down, meaning they can't speak the truth yes. freely like we can. Yeah, because yes, exactly. Because they they are that's, that's what you call a made man. They are made men. Exactly. Someone gave them that knowledge, and they made them do a little secret over where they can't tell nobody nothing, or you won't be in this position of power anymore. Made mm-hmm. men. They exactly. don't earn. They don't earn anything. But those people are set in place to keep the veil. Yeah. In, you know in, I mean? in nature, over the over the people. Yeah, exactly. Over the public. In nature, life is a is merit. A bird does not get their nest until they get the twigs and make that nest. Mm-hmm. The sellouts get their house by selling their people out. That's their benefit. Mm-hmm. You get it. So they don't want to be that bird flying around getting twigs to make a nest. They just want the nest. Mm-hmm. You get it. So while we're living in projects in poverty, they don't want that anymore. So what they do? I'll just sell them out. Mm-hmm. My own people. You but get it? Miserable. Judas. You get it? Why you quit smoking? Any specific reason or multiple? Multiple reasons. One of the reasons why I quit smoking is because I don't really see a reason for it anymore. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of people say they do it for medicinal reasons, but if if it's not getting cured, clearly it's not working. Um, And then Noble Drawley also said, you know, Morris imitate Ida Prophet. I don't drink or smoke. But if you do, don't quit all at once. You know, because it might hurt you. So just quit over time. Mm. Um, but f- for me, if I'm if I'm gonna th- if I'm gonna try to think clearly, I can't have my brain cloudy, and smoking made my brain cloudy. So I stopped. Mm-hmm. Mm. But that's my personal personal. Mm-hmm. That's personal. Mm-hmm. For me, smoke nonstop. <laughs> Like I told him, I was. I said, I'm going to smoke, I'm going to roll up, and then I'm going to read your book. <laughs> mm-hmm. that's, do, do you. I'm yeah. not here to change your life. <laughs> Allah sent you here. Yeah. Just like Allah sent me here. Rights of indigenous exactly. people. Exactly. Right. Right. So, so I'm not, you know, <laughs> prophet, prophet said imitate him and don't smoke. Right? That's prophet said. But since we're human beings, we have free will. We can make choices of whatever we want. Mm-hmm. And then to, and, and to help alleviate the situation that our people are in, uh, United, United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People, Article 24, states that Indigenous people have the right to their traditional medicines and Medicinal. plants, animals, whatever. Mm-hmm. So you can't be charged with having a plant on you yeah. because those are our traditional medicines. Yes. Like, I don't smoke it anymore, but I use it as, I use the cannabis oil. I use mm-hmm. it for my hair and skin. Mm-hmm. So, you know what I mean? There's multiple ways to use the plant. You don't got to smoke it. <laughs> You can eat it. Actually, if you eat it while it's growing, while it's still flowering, it's, it's like spicy. It's really good. Mm-hmm. Any more questions? You want to add more things? Oh, yeah. My other cousin was asking me about the beard oil. So if you want to, yeah. if you want to make that. Yeah. You can make it. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you got the stuff. I got the other yeah. stuff. So we'll yeah. make the stuff. <laughs> I'm in a movement making um, things happen. Yes. Because Noble Drawley told us to be industrious. So mm-hmm. we need to make... And Noble Drawley also said, until you have... Until you keep a national treasurer like your ancestors, you are nothing. Mm-hmm. So while these Moors claim to be, you know, oh, we got this nation, we're the Moorish American Amexum Empire of Northwest Amexum, and we got our own government. If they don't have their own private commercial papers, they're lying to you. Mm-hmm. Now, if they don't know... Like someone, someone said, uh, oh, I, I created this government and I have... Different sections, health department, blah, 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 blah. I asked one question. I said, do you have a drill society? And they said, what is that? So if you were running government, you don't know what a drill society is? Clearly. So just ask these people who are claiming to know anything. Ask them a simple question Mm -hmm. and see where they are. Ask me a simple question. See where I am. I'm not trying to be no one's leader. You get it? These people are trying to be your leaders. I'm just trying to be a farmer, like I said. I just want to be a farmer. Well, you kind of took on the teacher role. Well, because these people are selling our people out. So whoa, since they whoa. don't have any testicular fortitude to do it, I'll do it. Excuse me. Well, not selling out, but expose the truth. Not you, but the, the I leaders. know, but damn objection. I felt that motherfucking energy from oh, the well. ethers, god damn it. Be- all right, because. <laughs> hey, what? All right, all right, wait, right? Look at our ancestors, right? Look at the ancient Mayans. When they're sacrificing people, mm-hmm. they're not sacrificing innocent people. Yes. The punishment for treason is death. Yes. So, I'm not saying kill these people. I'm just putting the energy I put out into the into the ethers. 
See, I, I did a, I, I told someone that too. I said if, if we had our consular courts and was actually holding them to stuff, half of these quote unquote judges would have been dead, because committing treason. Uh, that's the will of a law. Yeah, that's, exactly. But that's what the people choose. You know what I mean? It's up to, but the people have to be mentally competent to make choices like that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that's why the energy I put out there was, you want to sell out my mother, my sisters, sisters, mm -hmm. my my cousins' children. My cousin, my grandmother, my grandfather, you want to sell them out? Okay, I'm going to expose you. In the Bible it says, woe unto the shepherd who scatters my flock. And I'm coming for you. That's what the book says. And then right in the book it says, the soul that sinneth, it shall die. So if you're going to sell, your, if you're going to sell our people out, I don't need to do anything. I'll use the, sharp, the sharpest sword. Right in the word sword, the word word is in it. I'll speak truth and you will die. I don't need to touch you. Yes. Right? Indeed. So that's why that energy came out. Because uh, I'm not just talking to you. I'm projecting to them. I'm, yeah. I'm making sure they feel it. I know yeah. they feel it. So yeah. We got we to gotta start using our powers. Yes, we really do. Our, our divine powers. Divine beings. But yeah, if there's anybody, you know, um, that wants to reach out or anything, feel free. Oh yeah, email, email me. I get a lot of emails, so... It you might know, take a while. Shirts, really? Yeah, I, I do. Yeah. You need like another account too. I need more help because I keep getting, I, people keep contacting me like, "Oh uh, yeah, your mentor ain't respond to us." Uh, All right. So I'll, apparently, if you, if you want, we can like we can do a Facebook position. live and you can see how many emails I get. If you want to do that too, but email rise of the moors at gmail dot com. Mm -hmm. uh, so just be patient because it's just me on the email, just me. Mm -hmm. One human being. That's why you need a secretary. I know. I told you that like months ago. Okay, um, I told you. Okay. I know, and then but you wanted me to do a all right, class. Whatever. All right. So exactly. Whatever um, that. <laughs> um, so just please Switch be patient. Position. Please be patient. Please be patient. Um, and I'll try to get to your emails. But I do message. tell him when you guys tell me. I do send him a message and I let him know about the inquiries from you guys. Cause I and I always respond and tell you guys if he doesn't respond to you it's because he's busy. Let's remember this man's putting out a damn video once a week. He got class every Saturday. <laughs> you know he's only one person, so just bear with us. Um, but that's why we like to do open discussions too. Cause if you have a question right then and there, we can get to it and get you an answer um, as soon as possible. That's good too. So. Oh yeah. Um. Um. Well, there's two points I want to bring up, and I'm juggling in my head which one I'm bring up first. I'm just going to bring up one. Noble Drali said, you know, Numbers are going to do him down, and he's going to force, you know, Moors into this movement. That's why, you know, it's going to take like 10 secretaries to write the names down. So also keep that in mind, like, as you say, people are waking up. I'm one person, right? Secondly, when you read the rights of indigenous people, also read the Inter American Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People that was approved in 1997. And it will tell you specifically who an indigenous person is. It includes those who continue, who, uh, who, those who contain historical continuity with their lands prior to European colonization, as well as those who were brought involuntarily to the New World. So even if our people think that they're from Africa, they're still an indigenous person. And when I say Africa, I'm talking about what we call Africa today, knowing that this. North American continent is Northwest Africa. But since all people think that they're from somewhere else in Africa, they still are indigenous people. So rights of indigenous people still applies to them. So irregardless of they want to call themselves indigenous here, they are ipso facto and ipso jure. So that too. And then look up the special committee of 24 dealing with decolonization. So when our people want to get out of the situation that we're in, we have to nationalize because that speeds up decolonization. So if you got any so-called gripes with the so-called European that you keep calling white, then just nationalize and they'll have to go home. All right, real quick, I want to just answer and this. And oh, let me, oh, just just so people don't think I'm, I'm hating any Europeans. Oh. I don't hate them. I'm just saying it is what it is. Mm -hmm. They're not from here. That's just a fact. They're guests. That's if it. We were immigrants. They would be quick to deport our fucking asses. Uh, real quick, I want to answer this question, though. I mean, I want your viewpoint on it, but obviously I figured yours is going to probably be more elegantly. So I'm just going to go real quick with my viewpoint on it. So my whole thing is, what well, is the social? When you have a social security and you apply for it, that means you are incompetent to handle your social affairs. Mm -hmm. So if that person is saying they're free national, why the hell do they have a social security number? That mm -hmm. proves within itself right then and there that they can't handle their own social affairs. 
and then if one's true self is separating themselves, why do you still have an instrument? Why are you still using the instrument from your oppressors? If you're trying to truly separate oneself from that. She's going in, right? Why? <laughs> now, hold on. Now, now, now let, me, let, me, let, me, let me try to help you out, right? Because I've been thinking about that. I'm like, why the fuck do I have this? I'm yeah, now, now let me. Yeah, now let me tell you. Let so me explain. I get this? Now, so let me, now let me, he can hit you with the let extra. Let me explain it. Let me explain it. Right? <laughs> this is this this is what you need to know about the situation that we're in. Again, the book of Revelations. It talks about the, the red dragon. The red dragon of the Ku Klux Klan. Right? Devouring the children. Right? That's the birth certificate as soon as we're born. That's that simple, right? Okay. That's how they place the debt on us. Then it talks about later in Revelations, no one can buy and sell unless they use the name or the number associated with that name. That's the social security number and the all capital letters name. We are under European colonial occupation. Mm -hmm. So they they won't accept certain things because they're colonizers. Mm -hmm. They they have no morals when it comes to us. They want our power and they don't want to give it up. So in certain situations we are forced. Not because we want to. I don't desire to use uh, European private commercial paper, but I'm forced to. So under threat, duress, and coercion, meaning if I don't use this, I won't get like food or be able to put gas in my car or be able to do anything. That's threat, duress, and coercion. I'm forced to use this. You get it? So also, as you're freeing yourself, you still have to remember that we're still under occupation. You're just freeing yourself up here. You get it? And this is what matters. Because once everyone's good up here, then we can fix the physical bondage that we're in. Does that make sense? See how they're slowing down the video? Mm -hmm. They don't want this truth out. Mm -hmm. But don't worry, they can't stop my, my YouTube videos. Because it's that's on camera, they can't slow that down. Mm -hmm. So, um, Does that make sense, y'all? So also remember, we are under occupation. And they can only deal with us if we use their corporate instruments. Because that's how they're claiming jurisdiction over us. Mm -hmm. You get it? But that's why I so, don't care. I don't care about threat, direct, all that. I'm not using shiitake. <laughs> all right? I didn't come this far to keep using that. And, oh, well, because of threat, direct, and, you know, I still have to know. When I tell you guys to truly separate oneself, take yourself out of the emotional aspect, you're really not. Look at me. First of all, let me just throw something out there real quick. Even I'm always getting personal as happy y'all know who watch me because I got to keep it real and funky for the people. <laughs> All right. So let me tell y'all something real quick. Y'all know I ain't have a job and I haven't been able to get a job. So I because, of, went, because of what they're doing. Okay. But yes, can I make my point? Yeah, Stop introduction. All right. Stop interjecting. I apologize. <laughs> Thank you. So um, I could have sit there, used the social, went down to the welfare office. Got some food stamps for my kids and me, and just let them keep having control over me. But what did I say? No, I stood on my square. I said I understand the severity of the movement and everything that I'm doing, and truly separating myself, even though we are part and partial. No, part and parcel. Parcel. There we go. See, I'm still learning how to pronounce these things. Okay. So, parcel. Go ahead. But um, so yeah, I don't, I don't use that. And then it's like I figure out whatever else I have to do for the sake of me and mine. Because mm -hmm. my thing is, what happens if they ever was to raise the question? Nope, we're not having that discussion. Mm -hmm. If, if you private. Okay, it's one thing to say, okay, I'm using this because it's threat to rest and I still need it. Mm -hmm. Because I need this to survive. Mm -hmm. Which means that still gives them access mm -hmm. to you. Yep. Me, I'm like, fuck that. You but, ain't getting no but access. Let me, let me interject because I have to interject. Because we as a people need to make it so our people don't need to keep using their instruments anymore. And we can only do that once we, as an example, I'm not saying this is the only only thing, but this is what I thought of. That's why I claim the land, so we can grow food. So you don't have to apply for no section nothing and no food stamp nothing. Get it from me for a dollar. And since it's all 100% profit, I'm not paying no Europeans property tax on my own land. I can use that for anything else to benefit our people. That's how we should be thinking. So all that's good, but we still need to set up things, you know, plans to fix things. Okay, yes we do. Yeah. So you're right. We're both right. But, you know, for the people. 
Foreign state instruments, exactly. Foreign corporate, because they're not really the state, because the yes. state is a collection of people bound together by common law. Mm -hmm. You spelt it correctly. They used the capital letters or the capital S, which makes it um, corporate. Mm -hmm. So we're also dealing with semantics. What I'm just saying is we both have our points. Yeah. I just personally said mm -hmm. I'm done with this. these government, yeah. these instruments yeah. from them, period. Yeah. And that's, that's my yeah. whole point. We, we still are allowed benefits from the corporate state as an American national. Yes, they are obligated to us by the treaty. Yes, they are. But you, but you have to understand that these people are colonists. Mm -hmm. And they're going to fight tooth and nail. Some of them won't. Some of them will just be like, yeah, you know, you're Moors. But some of them who want the power don't want because they live off mm -hmm. us being in, in, in the situation that we're in. They get to go to the Bahamas and do whatever they want. They're not going to give that life up. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so you also, you have to look at the situation for what it is, not who you are. Again, not everyone has your morals. That's one of the, what, my mom taught me that, like, not everyone thinks like you. Mm -hmm. And she, and she said it in, in her thing. She had to remember, she had to keep reminding herself that not everyone thinks like her. So as, as like one of her main things she told me when I was younger, well, as an adult, that she did when we were younger is no matter what. We ate at the dinner table together as a family, no matter what. I look around at our people, and some of our parents don't do that for their children. You know what I mean? So it's, again... I think, I think my dad to this day, because we had to do the same thing. Yeah. Say, oh, dad, thank you all the time. Yeah, for, yep. Like, teaching me manners yep. when we was at the table. Yep, and, 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 I, and I always thank my father, too. Like, you know, sometimes my father says, I know I wasn't always the best dad. I say, Dad, you, you were in my life. Too. Yeah, you were in my life, and you didn't leave. Like, what do you... And you, you didn't beat my mom, you didn't, you know what I mean, you wasn't abusive to us, like, that matters. Mm -hmm. having, bo having, having both parents, whether they're your biological parent or whatever, having both male and female in the house, that's important. Mm -hmm. That's fundamental. And then I was talking to one of my aunts, she, she told me back in her day, the Europeans, like the family housing thing, they used to check to see if the male was in the house. Mm -hmm. Search closets, like a, a random inspection, search closets under the bed, like, why, why are you searching under the bed? To make sure the male wasn't there. Yes. They're destroying families. Remember how I, the last video, I, I brought that up, and I said, no, remember when um, your cousin, you was talking, mm -hmm. and I was like, no, it's actually deeper than that, because the severity and what they understand is getting the male, the man, out the house first, because mm -hmm. they know the we men are you. the protectors yep. of, of the women. Yep. So. And then they make us effing cowards, and they make us but I into our lower self, how and in chasing order to stuff get that these benefits, matter. like, remember I told you, mm -hmm. if you're married... Mm -hmm. yep. You can't get them benefits. Yep. You're going to be paying out of pocket. Yep. If you're a single mother, you're going to get all them benefits. And that's so the mm -hmm. government's like, yes, of course, we will help you. But at what expense? So they create the problem and then they offer the solution. Exactly. That's genocide. Mm -hmm. That's so crazy. Because it's, it's fact, it's truth. It's if you want right? a perfect example, if you want to get your... Perfect you... example is I have a lady and us buying a house that we bought. We didn't get married the time that we bought our first house because she would never got the benefits. Yep. For, yeah. For getting the house that yeah. we got now. Exactly. So, so it's not racism. It's systematic destroying exactly. families mm -hmm. so that you have to work harder to pay that off exactly. or whatever it is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's their mission. It's not. It's not. Listen. It's not how much the mortgages or whatever you're paying. That because that's not money. They print as much of that as they want. The goal is to keep you and your lady suppressed so that when she bears children, they're suppressed. Mm -hmm. That's the goal. Mm -hmm. it's, never, it's never the fiat. Mm -hmm. We are still allowed benefits from the court. Yep. If you're denied, lawsuit, automatic, get name of agent. Yes, but you have to listen. Listen, 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 listen. Observe the situation that we're in. Mm -hmm. Show me which court here is constitutional that you're going to bring these claims to. You see, I laughed on that one. I'm just. <laughs> this is where this is where Moors bring up the issue council courts because mm -hmm. we're, there's a lot of issues that we need to fix. Mm -hmm. We need a place to fix them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Council courts, and then once once we start operating within our national capacity, and and we're still getting getting uh, uh what's it called? Like resistance from the Europeans. Then we go to the United Nations and say, hey, we're, we're trying to do this. And that's when the International Crim Criminal Court comes in, when the, the Security Council presents situations to them where it, if a nation is in a state where it can't handle its, its affairs, even though it's trying to, the uh, Criminal Court can come in and help. Or if 
another state is unwilling to hear that issue, then they can come help. So us as Moors, if we're trying to do our thing, and the Europeans keep challenging us, we, we, we get help from the international community, right? Mm -hmm. If we're trying to deal with them and they won't deal, deal with it, we seek help from the in, international community. That's how it works. It's that simple. Uh. Federal District Court. Have you read the... Uh, have you read the general civil orders? Because you're, you're right about federal court. But you need to understand how deep the corruption is. Mm -hmm. How deep it really is. How deep it is. That's why I said forget it. I'm not, saying that, I'm not saying there are no constitutional courts. I'm saying show me where they are. Show me. Especially show me a constitutional court That's constitutional If Congress adjourned 1861 And they haven't been government since So please show me You have to understand the severity of the situation that we're in If you go to the doctor And you got a leech on your back And you're talking about my foot hurts The doctor's not going to take the leech off your back Because you're telling them it's your foot You get it? No, yeah, you still need to put it on, on the record, yes. But we need to get past just putting things on record. We need remedy. Mm -hmm. So it would... I'm, 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 trying to, I'm trying to paint a picture for you showing you that, yes, our knowledge is correct, accurate, all that good stuff. We're still going to get opposition. So instead of burning your energy, dealing with Rome, the system that has so many resources, so many personnel, just... Teach other people around you, form a drill society, and figure out how to protect each other. You get what I'm saying? And then, and then out of that, over time, it might not be this generation, it might not be the next one. It might be the one after that, or three more after that. So we set it up for our prosperity so they don't have to do what we did, so they're better off. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? This, this situation that we're in is not going to be fixed like that. Noble Draw League was on the scene in 1913. Right? The flag got raised in Philadelphia... Last week. That's a hundred and something years ago. You get know what I'm saying? And the birthright was taken 1774, and the flag wasn't risen until 2018. You get know what I'm saying? This is this is this is more than what you think it is. I don't want to bring y'all down like that, but. <laughs> but no, my oh, whole point okay. was because I just don't talk about separate. Sep <laughs> no, look, my whole thing was don't talk about separating oneself. And not using government instruments and all this and all that. And you're a national, but then you're still going back to those people asking for these things. Because mm -hmm. at that point, I'm going to call your ass a dirty more. At that point. And I don't give a fuck. Well, Period. This, and this is why Noble Drelli said a beggar nation cannot achieve its highest in spirituality. Because mm -hmm. if you're constantly begging someone else for something, mm -hmm. how can you ever really be you? Exactly. This is why we need farmlands. We need our people to have a loyal title of ownership to their property so they're not paying some foreigner on their own land to live in a house on their own land. Mm -hmm. But we need to, But first, we need our people to be educated on these issues. Then we form drill uh, societies to alleviate these issues. Hold on, what case? What are you talking about? Does the about? mother have her case to share with us? Probably the one that we got dismissed. What, well, you need... Uh, what's, be specific? Yes, be specific, please. What's his name? Assad? Assad? I don't even know how to pronounce that. I think I said it right. Erfan Bay? Erfan? Erfan? Excuse me. Well, yeah, I'm going to need you to please specify, and then I can properly answer <laughs> your question. There you go. What? Because before you were answering questions without them being specific, now you're being specific. Mm. See? But, you know, just being in your presence, I love <laughs> all the time. You want to add anything else? Mm -hmm. Nothing else right now. Next time. Alright, cool. We can start wrapping it up. Yeah, I just wanted to know what the question was so I could properly answer it. Oh, yeah. So answer that question before we go. Yeah. Because uh, I talk a lot and I bore myself. Well, you know how I am. I'm the gift of damn gab. Once I get to talk, I can't shut the hell up for nothing. Yeah, but like I said, like I said, I mentioned the United Nations Security Council like four times already. Mm -hmm. I get what you're saying. It's kind of like... Can we look your case up? 
No, you cannot look my. Look well, not the one that's the the old one. Yeah, not my old. If you're asking me about the case that I got dismissed, oh, excuse me, give me one second. Children are calling. All right. Hold on, let me just move the camera. Let me know. What you, let me know when you when you can go to the law library. We can go. So it's more than just you reading my book. Yeah. You go straight to the law library where all these Europeans are at, and you'll see you'll see the way they look at my feds. You'll see it, and you'll see that what I'm saying isn't made up. They all know. So, yeah. <laughs> so, Salam. All right. Um. Where was I at? Okay. Now, where the heck was I at? You were telling them that they can I look don't up. Forget. Okay. Boom. Was it? It was P P two one hundred four. That was the no, case number. No. No. P two sixteen oh seven seven. Wait, hold on. P two sixteen oh seven. Something else. But anyhow, no, they can't see that one. Why not? What? Why not? Cause you know damn well I don't got that record seal, Talib. No, I no no no. They're talking about looking up online. No, what do you okay? This is what I'm saying. If they're talking about the case we got dismissed, mm -hmm. they will not be able to review it because after I got the case dismissed, I went and I got sealed. Mm -hmm. Remember that? Mm -hmm. So they're not going to be able to find it because I got it sealed. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. You I, know what I'm saying? All right, now I see what you're saying, but okay, but in regards to that, in likeness, positive note, even though y'all can't look it up. Since I'm just so honest with the damn people, I got the dismissal letter and the proof that I got it sealed and my discovery package, all 20 fucking three pages, it's on Jamal's page. So if you want to look into that, if you want to oh, yeah, reference... Is I forgot. <laughs> yes. If you want to reference the docket numbers, any of that. Yep. No, it's not also known as expunged. Not in where I'm at. No, there's, it's two different ones. So you could give motion for it to seal and the motion for it to expunge. Me getting it sealed means my fingerprints, anything like that, they got to take it out of their database and everything else like that. So, um, but yeah, so there's two levels of that. Um, now, so as far as that, if you want to know about the, the two felony charges, I got dismissed to Superior Court. All of that information is on Jamal's page. Um, yeah, it's, it's old information, so you gotta scroll down. But it's, yeah. I took pictures of what, like the police report. Mm -hmm. um, I took pictures. It's pictures the whole everything. discovery package. Yeah. So we got pictures of the whole entire discovery, and then we got um, the picture with the dismissal, also with the stamping on it to prove. Oh yeah. Also, with your um, with your permission, I still have a lot of the pictures of the paperwork, mm -hmm. and I do have your like address and stuff like that blocked out. So. If you want, I can also give the people that, but I'm not going to do it until you give... Even though it's already on my Facebook. Yeah. But if I, they want, well, you already asked me, and I already gave you permission. Yeah, I know, but, you know... You know how I am. I tell I all these people, you want to challenge me, here's the paperwork. <laughs> I know, here's I'm just... the papers, I still have homie. to ask, you know what I mean? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, we can... Uh, just look at my Facebook, and you'll see it. You'll, yeah. you'll see the... Uh, we took pictures of everything. We have videos of us leaving the court with the paperwork. Yeah, we got, we got one through six videos. Yep. Okay, that was the original start. Mm -hmm. Then we got two videos after we got it dismissed. Yeah. And because we walked in and said, even the first the first video was like, watch, said, watch this get, get dismissed. dismissed. Knock them out the, the box. box. <laughs> and yes. <then laughs> Put it out. Work. <laughs> right. Stay but, in the nine nine square. But this is the thing though. Like, but one thing I I would say that you should tell your wife. Um so she will see other women stand up. Yeah. One thing I will say to let your wife know. I am a single mom, and I have no male, like a husband, beside me. You get what I'm saying? Besides my mentor, there's no other male out there. Now, let me just speak on that, right? If you're a so-called man, you might want to protect the women, because guess who brought you here? The women. Now, isn't it not true that a nation doesn't uh, exceed higher than the level of its women? Mm-hmm. So, if you're claiming to be a man... And you're not protecting women, you're a coward. So mm -hmm. I'll just add that. Yeah. Not you personally. I'm just throwing it out there because a lot of people claim to be men, 
but then they just disrespect women and mm-hmm. won't even show up to court with them and won't even learn anything to try to help them and mm-hmm. just cowards. So see, and that's my thing. Like, um, to live right here, this man will go with me to court if I ask him to. Even though we both know my ass shouldn't be in there. Oh, yes. So that that's my point. Just let her know that like I'm a person that besides my mentor, you know, being there protection wise and having my back and who I can talk to and reference. I don't have anyone else that I can go speak to about this or that would truly understand the severity of everything that I am encountering. You get it? So it's like, just tell her that at least she has a husband like you who's there to help her and she got someone standing by her. So just let her know. She, she, me, Zahira, is a single mom. Besides my mentor, I don't have no support or anyone backing me like that. Personally, I know this is personal. I try not to get too personal, but we already know how I am. My own family, um, besides my brother, my mom, everyone thinks I'm crazy and that I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about and that if I keep playing with these courts, my ass is finna go to jail. Even though, even though we, we proved have that proof that sealed from their court that what we said got the case dismissed. Exactly. So even yeah. though my own family doesn't believe in me and the only person that believes in me and, under, and overstands me is Jamal. Even with that, having him, that makes me, like, still want to fight. You get what I'm saying? So, at least her having you and y'all unit, she can at least turn to you. You get what I'm saying? So, it's like, I was going in this blind by my own, you know? And, and I, that's why it was going. my case was going on for a year and a half. Um, and then once I finally met with uh, Jamal and we went over things, we banged stuff with the affidavit out and got it dismissed. But, um, yeah, tell her have no fear. And that's what they feed off of is our fear. And honestly, see, me, my whole thing is since I know my knowledge and I know what I know is the, is the truth, I stand on that confidently. So no one's going to alter my decisions or my viewpoints or anything like that. So, yes, um, it's difficult going up against these conniving criminals. But that's what criminals do. Exactly. But just know that your knowledge and you standing on that is stronger than whatever they will ever try to throw you away. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. Like, you can't lose it. You got to. Yes. I always tell her we are here to uplift fallen humanity with the prophet. Holding was holding up women. Yes. Yes, indeed. And that's the thing. Like. Women are not honored or respected the way we should be. So. There could be a lot of reasons why, you know, this, this fear that she has is coming from. Like, it could be coming from multiple uh, different things and different reasons why, right? Um, but ultimately, like, tell her. Maybe maybe she should, uh... Because we all deal with energies and things like that. So as far as fear, like, tell her to, like, maybe tonight and over the next couple days, just really... Look at how soft my voice got when I went to... <laughs> sorry see that's that's the whole energy thing so just tell her, like you know over the next couple days over like the next three four days throughout the night do some deep meditation um really get intact subconsciously try to find out where this fear that you have is being derived from because ultimately in order for you to get through any threshold you must have a solution so i feel as though you need to go back next couple days really hone in tap in on yourself your energy See what that's saying, what you're, what you're getting back, um, and really find out what it is that's making you have this fear. Um, Which is mostly lack of knowledge. Exactly, that too. So, um, yeah, just find out what, what it is, and then, then just, you know, get that solution. And I'm saying, like, do it with, with over the next three to four days, and, you know, focus on meditation, focus on your energy, focus on your chakras, and um, really hone in on trying to come up with that solution. So I would say personally, I, I know I'm not nobody to be setting no damn goals or little jobs. But I'll say my little job for you would be over the next three, four days, really hone in to find out where's your fear being derived from. And then find that solution. And then hopefully the next time we do a live or so, I might hear that you are no longer fearful. <laughs> so work on that and keep that. Strong energy going and flowing. Also, may I add something? Um, if you read like the preamble to the rights of indigenous people, it mentions how 
the conditions of indigenous people in each area are different. So us here, you know, Europeans ain't playing. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's so much corruption here, they ain't playing. It might not be like that in your territory, you know what I mean? I don't know which territory you're in. So, there, you know, each each battle is different. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You got to know when to fight and when to flight. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Sometimes you have to run away. That's part of war. We're at war right now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not a physical war. It's more of a, of a divine war, but sometimes you have to run away too. What did she say? She is most definitely soft on our sons. And that's where it's your... your it's, it's as the man's responsibility to, you know, show love, but also be firm and strict. You know what I mean? Because it's in a woman's nature to, to be like that. Mm -hmm. But we as men have to show you, like, and I try to do this with my nephew as well. Like, if you want something, don't whine for it. Mm -hmm. Ask me. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't, like, can I have this? Ask me what you want. Don't say it in like a, in a, like a, a inferior position where you think you need to beg. If you want something, if you want that water... Ask me, say, Uncle, can I can I get water? And say, yes, don't 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 approach it a certain way. You know what I mean? And children understand this stuff. That's why they do what they do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So it's just be firm. You can be firm and loving. No would Riley said, if I'm gonna save you, you more, so I have to enforce the law. You know what I mean? So enforce law. Be a man and enforce law. Whatever that is. Yeah, that's my YouTube. You spelled my name wrong again. <laughs> he always doing that shit. Uh, but yeah, so real quick, let me just say this. Um, as far as you know, being soft. Because I, I have a son and a daughter, right? But let me tell you something. Their asses don't pay the motherfucking <laughs> rent. All right? All right? They don't put the food up in this house. They don't go to work. They don't do, They don't contribute to the benefits of this motherfucking <laughs> house that we in. You get what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, um, who's in control yeah. of your household? You or them? Yeah. You better not tell me that you getting in touch and you a goddess. And you doing all of this, and you telling me that them two son, them sons of yours is running you ragged. Yeah, yeah. You, you, that's not something I need to be hearing. And, and can I interject on this too? Yes. Because someone also mentioned it, the Willie Lynch manual. Part of the part of the plan was to make it so the women are super soft on the men and make them dependents. You see what I'm saying? So now this is why we have like a lot of men. They'll jump around couch to couch, and in like single women's houses to leech off of them. Because they don't want responsibility. Because they're used to being babied by their mother because of the mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? So you, you you have to think about these harsh... I mean, they're not really harsh. It is what it is. Like, if, if you observe... I don't know the con conditions you're in, but... You know, in the projects, we see it all the time. I, I know someone who went all the way to a different territory to get a single mother's income tax. He's not raising those kids. but he But he's playing... And this isn't just this individual. A lot of our people are doing this. They're playing to... You know, our women's like mothering nature side to get something out of them and they don't even have allegiance to them because mm -hmm. their God is Rome. You see what I'm saying? So you have to be firm because we're, we're fighting a system. Mm -hmm. So if your children are good, the system's not working. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So and then keep the, that in mind. Your, your children follow in your footsteps. Yep, yep. And, and it says it right, right in their manual. It says the condition of the child shall be the condition of the mother. Mm-hmm. So make it, make it so your wife feels protected or whatever, or your girlfriend, whatever. And then she'll have more trust in you and, you know what I mean? But also also keep in mind, the system makes it so our, our ideas of what a good man and what a good woman is, is warped. Mm -hmm. So you have to keep that in mind too. And I don't want to tell you what's what because that's not my position. That's for you to figure out. Yes, that's how you spell it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, just, just search Jamal's Flicks on YouTube. Literally, Jamal's flicks, and then I'll pop up. Big old afro. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's easy, too, for women to... It's in our nature to just be soothing and comforting to our children, but... Mm -hmm. We're trying to raise, raise up the people. We can't be having no... Can't be soft on them, because this is the thing. The world we live in is a cold motherfucking bitch. Excuse my French. I'm sorry. I know I'm messing up half of Jamal's friends no, on no, here. You're, no, you're not. You're, language. No, you're you. I'm me, and they're them. <laughs> so, well, I feel like half of your friends are all adults, so they can stand a little, no, little you. you know, a little mishaps in my language there. But uh, <laughs> yes, actually, really, like you, we are we. 
we got to raise up some strong people. We got to, these are our kids. We got to raise them to be strong and to stand tall and to stand on their square. And we're the only ones who are going to be able to teach them that. Nobody, nobody out there in the world's going to give it to them. But like I said, this world is a cold motherfucking bitch. So it's not, they're not going to go into this world and they're going to be respected and loved and nurtured and cared for the way you do to them when they're, you know, with you. That's that's not what they're gonna get from this world. This world will spit you up and chew you out so spit chew you up and spit you out so fast before you can even fucking blink your eyes. Okay. So the point is, you need to be hard. Not obviously we're all nurturing, so I'm not telling you how to raise your kids. But what I'm saying is, for the way that this world is structured, for us trying to establish the things we are Prepare trying to establish, exactly, you need to have them prepared and being soft on them and them not understanding the severity. Of where we are today as a people, you you really got to get on. Especially that. in the projects. Especially in the projects. Mm hmm Yes, tough love, exactly. Tough love. And yeah. that's they're not going to respect that. If she's being soft on them, they're going to look at her like they could walk all over her. Like me, and the only reason why I'm speaking like this is because I'm a single mom. So... I mean, I'll never say I'm mommy and daddy, but the point is that I'm making is I have to be twice as much more stern. I have to be twice as much more affirmative when it comes to my disciplining of my children. Which is a result of the effed up system that we're in. And, and preparing your children for this cold world is, is saying that nature has no respect for or... or Nature Go isn't ahead. concerned with person or station. Go have a seat. If our people keep selling our own people out, yeah. that's what we get. Okay. Go have a seat. If you know what I mean, that it is what it is. If our people keep selling our people out, then our conditions don't change, and this is what we get. Mm -hmm. That that's that's a result of the cold world where we're dealing with human beings who are in their lower self. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it, it it is what it is. So please prepare your children for it because this is not fun. Because when I was younger, I did not know that the world was like this. Can you fix it? You know what I mean? I had no idea. And then I woke up and I was like, oh, crap. The world's like this. <laughs> exactly. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. There's a... Just try to keep in mind that not everything is going to come right now. Mm -hmm. Not everything's a quick answer. Not everything happens. Look... Plant a seed and watch nature do her job. And she'll do it as slow as she wants or as fast as she wants. Because that's what nature does. So this situation that we're in, don't expect don't expect for these Europeans to not be Europeans. Don't expect for dirty people not to be dirty. Exactly. Not saying all Europeans are dirty. I'm talking about Moors too. Mm -hmm. Don't don't expect for these so called Indians and these so called black leaders. To be all moral all of a sudden when they're living off robbing us, mm -hmm. don't expect that. Mm -hmm. You expect if 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 they're putting in the work, that's the work they're putting in. So if someone's putting in good work, that's the work they're putting in. If someone's being a sellout, that's the work they're putting in. You get it? So again, observe situations for what they are, not who you are. Mm -hmm. Remember that whole, how you gonna go seeking justice from your oppressor? Remember that was your line. Yeah, so, was it? Yes, it was. You know I'm. You know I'd be on it. You know I'd be on it. <laughs> this is where council courts come into play. This is mm -hmm. where we must take our places amongst the affairs of men, not just yes. courts, but farming, everything, hospitals, daycare centers, all that kind of stuff. And next class, I'm going to talk about economics. You shouldn't be out of work because. You oh my God! I'm gonna need. Who is okay? Okay, no, I'm gonna ask you this. No, look, look, no, because I'm about to. What's the importance of your nationality? Ooh. All right, so your nationality is your standing, state, or condition, right? Because mm -hmm. your nationality determines your political status, and it deals with who you have allegiance to. to what nation? So if you don't have a nationality, you don't have allegiance to your own people, mm -hmm. right? Now, when you're dealing with political status, the word political is dealing with the management of affairs and with rights. So if you don't have a nationality, you don't have rights, right? Your status is your standing state and condition as it relates to the rest of the community. So who you are, your status is who you are as it relates to foreigners on your land, as an example. Mm -hmm. So as an example, if I, me being a Moor, if I go to Japanese, 
Oh, uh, Japanese. If I go to Japan, the Japanese people are nationals, so their status is superior. Not in a negative way. That's their home. Mm -hmm. You get it? So when we nationalize, we're saying we are home. Europeans, you're foreigners. That's status as an example. That's why it's important. Because once you realize you're home, you'll realize, why am I paying rent to these Europeans? And you'll quickly realize, rights of indigenous people applies to me in the States. I don't have to pay Europeans nothing to be on my own homeland. But we need more of our people thinking like that so we can fix the issue. Plus, we're not civilly dead. Civil yes, mortis. yes, yes. Civil little mortus. With the opposite of civil, civil little mortus, which means dead in the eyes of the law, when we claim our nationality. Go ahead. But that also comes that when you claim a nationality, you must understand that you need others around, other nationals around you. Because when you, when you go to like, let's say you go to like here, there's a Korean flag raised, raised downtown. That's letting you know that the Koreans are around. If you go to any of their restaurants, they hire their own people. That's nationality. It's not, it's not just law, it's economics and what you do as a people. That's nationality. That's the importance of nationality. All right, so now, yeah, all that, all that you know, law stuff. I can quote the law book, but we still need, we still need restaurants so we can hire our own people. That's nationality. We need uh, our own, our own currency, you know, in our own communities. That's nationality. We need our own farmers to supply our grocery stores so we can set up jobs for our people. That's nationality. We need our own courts so that these Europeans stop uh, holding our people guilty for crimes that don't exist. That's nationality. All right, can you just scroll? Scroll what? Down? Up? Up, up. I mean down, yes. There we go. That's no, it. no, no. I mean, right there. Okay. So, I don't know how to pronounce your first name, um, but Court? Cleo? Cleo Court? Oh, Cleo Court. Okay, there <laughs> we go. So, now clearly, <laughs> you wasn't listening or obviously paying that much close attention. And I say this with the utmost respect, because if you really listen to me, the only reason why I am out of work is because I have pending investigations. Because these Europeans are implementing genocide on our people. Exactly. So they're bringing up false allegations when there's no injured party, there's no signed affidavit, affidavit of anyone claiming any, any injuries to them that she made towards them. Mm -hmm. So therefore, she's out of a job. So yes. if you understand the real situation that we're really in, you'll get why we're in the, situ in the situation we're in. So, I, so for the record... I never stated once that I'm out of work because I declared my nationality at all. So let me just get that one straight. <laughs> Why are you laughing for? Because you're you're clearing you're clearing it up because I know people probably think that. Well, so I think that's funny that you're clearing it up because you're exposing. You know. Yeah, well, because clearly people don't listen. See, they ask for this information and then we give it to them. I did over six videos with you, and people are still sitting here thinking that I don't. I'm out of work. Because I cleared my nationality. Mm -hmm. When I'm clearly out of work because I'm having complaints made against me, which is bullshit anyways. Yep. So, I mean... So, you're right. She shouldn't be out of work out of work because she claimed her nationality. But what is, what is the system that we're dealing with? Mm -hmm. What are we dealing with? We're dealing with colonizers who benefit off of us being suppressed. That's what we're dealing with. So, it would behoove the men to stand up and fight for their women. And I'm, I'm challenging men because there's a lot of men, I see a lot of men claiming to be king and claiming to be whatever. And they're pimping our women. Um, they're pointing a finger at the European for bringing drugs in our community. I'm not talking about cannabis. I'm not talking about plants. I'm talking about other things. They're talking about Europeans bringing these, these harmful chemicals in, into our communities. But then they're selling them to our own people. And they won't stand up for their women. And they won't do anything in industrious, but they'll point the finger. So that's why I'm pointing at men. So, again, observe the situation for what it is. And then real quick, file a suit. Obviously, if you were listening to me, I'm still dealing with district court right now. All right? Because now they're trying to come as a misdemeanor. All right? So, I mean, how the hell you expect me to file suits and go argue with these other entities and shit if I'm still dealing with this. I mean, how flexible do you think I am? <laughs> no, seriously. Like, I want to know what, what your scope is, uh, is on my flexibility in regards to filing suits. I'm talking, I'm talking about to raise funds, nothing to do with your case. Raise funds. What? 
No, I was responding to your question. That had nothing to do. Competition for DMB. What the hell? Wait, run, run that back up some. And that was yes, the, the temple are supposed to have set these things up. Yes, this is where the sellout comes in. Where they haven't been doing what they're yes. supposed to do. Okay. This is why we need Joe societies in, in our territories, so we can do what the temples were supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So since this is why Noble Jolie said there's going to be new moors coming with their eyes wide open to put you old moors in the back. So since y'all didn't do nothing, you y'all put that on our back, so now we have to do it. And if we don't do it, then we put that on the next generation's back, and we're just as much of a, of a sellout as the people who are still calling us Negro, Black, Colored, and Indian. So the sellout is more than what you think. Uh, I think about... I was talking about... Raise funds. funds. Nothing to do with your case. Well, I was talking about and I was responding in regards to you stating that I shouldn't be out of work yeah, because no. I declared yeah. my nationality. But, she, but she's talking about she's talking about sue them to get to get some type of money from them. Okay, but I am in no standing point right now mm -hmm. to handle filing yeah. suits because I'm still dealing with another matter. Yeah. That was my point. I mean, am I speaking another language here? No. I mean, I'm I'm not the greatest at articulating my words, and we all know that. <laughs> but I don't think anything that I'm saying is you can't understand. You get what I'm saying? I'm just reading. What you reading that? No, I was just looking at this that. bullshit. Yeah, I'm just one of all revised. Uh, motherfuckers. No, it's just their templates. Yeah, shit. Um. All so right, yeah. Oh, you want to start wrapping up? Yes. Ah, I so, yeah, whoever wants to help us. Good thing I brought an umbrella. Whoever can. Yeah, that's no oh, way. yeah, help us by spreading the word. Spreading the word. Spreading the word. Spreading the word. Also, check out my YouTube, Jamal Swicks. Mm -hmm. Also, if you haven't, checked out rvbaypublications.com. Mm -hmm. Also, check out Kane and Land Moors on YouTube. Uh, They're really good. Check out... Moors and, Race, Moors and Masonry, that's a good book by Abdullah. Um, yeah. Stand your square. Yeah, stand on it. Don't be no punk or chump. Yeah, challenge any so-called human being in this thing called a male flesh and challenge them to be men. And challenge them to at least show up to court with the women standing on their square. Don't mind my fro. Um, <laughs> And challenge them to stop selling drugs to their own people. And I'm not talking about cannabis, because can cannabis is a plant. Mm -hmm. um, I'm talking about, like, crack and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah. Study, study, study. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Thanks for all the important and relevant information. Thank you for tuning in and thanking us. Yes, gratitude. We love y'all. Yep, going after their bonds, yep. Mm -hmm. We love y'all. Um... You know, spread the word. Initially, that's what the goal... I mean, I'm setting up... Just, I'm just going to throw this out there real quick. Yes, those people, because I felt like I needed to respond. Just so you know, I am in the motion setting up things in order to file a suit. If it does have to get to that level. So, not that I don't want to file. It's just they're not in default yet. So, we're working on things. It takes finance to raise a nation, and right now they're suppressing us, so it's kind of like... Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so, um... Uh, I did Okay. Yes, you did, and I'm glad, and I'm proud of you. Thank you. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. Yes, and Peace. stay true to oneself. Study, study, study. If you ask me what to study next, I'll say study yourselves. Study Noble Draw League. Observe nature. Mm -hmm. Just observe nature, and she will tell you. Oh, and one closing thing. Please, don't come to us with the same goddamn questions that we done answered in, in YouTube video <laughs> on the channel, on YouTube, on Jamal's channel, okay? Don't come over here when we do these live open discussions asking us questions that we done already answered because that takes some time that we could be speaking about the next thing of importance. Oh, yeah, uh, next class, well, it's, it's going to be posted not this week's, but the week after. Mm. So, but this next class, I'm talking about economics, and I'm going to post it the following week. Um, and I'm going to, and, I, and I, I have a template because me and my mother were talking about doing stuff, and so I have a template, and it has law in it, so we, so we can protect ourselves. So peace. I appreciate all the love. What's your channel? Jamal's Flicks. That's my YouTube channel. 
Peace, y'all. Thank y'all for